This is Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is, the show that pitches TV's best-loved antiques experts against each other in an all-out battle for profit. Yeehaw! And gives you the insider's view of the trade. Who's there? Each week, one pair of dueling dealers will face a different daily challenge. <laughs> yes, man! Putting their reputations on the line. Ready for the ball. And giving you their top tips and savvy secrets on how to make the most money from buying and selling. Get in there. <laughs> Our lads are soon perusing the possibilities, and Paul has found a job lot of old posters estimated at 80 to 120 pounds, including one with particular appeal. These guys are mainly from Liverpool. We've got Silla Black, we've got PJ Proby, and I've even got a friend of mine here who used to be the drummer in the Remo 4. These were all guys that were around the cavern, around that early exciting 1960s Mersey beat. Just great things to have. I love the artwork, I love the 50s, 60s nostalgia, and these have got my name all over it. Appearing here soon, let me look. Yes, Paul is on familiar turf with his 60s memorabilia, but Will is set that will secure a win. Hayes and Action now head home to assess their acquisitions. And back in Morecambe, Paul is preparing for his selling adventure. So are you sitting comfortably? The show is about to begin. We have the magic lanterns all fired up, ready to display their wonderful pictures. And of course, we've advertised well using the posters and the main attractions here, which is Morecambe's answer to Richard Gere. These posters have turned out to be better than I thought. I bought them originally for this one here, the Remo 4, the Brian Epstein Axe, fantastic, dead, dead trendy. Amongst them are two posters which represent acts here at the Winter Gardens in Morecambe. How great is that? I bought them down in... To find the right buyer for each item. They'll be hoping to raise enough money to come out on top in today's competition. But remember, no deal is sealed until the shake of a hand. And Paul is the first on the trail of potential profit when he travels to Standish near Wigan with his 1960s poster, having targeted Harry P, the drummer of Mersey Beat band The Remo Four. And what I'm going to show you now is okay. a poster that was yeah. uh, promoted by Brian Epstein, and on the bill yeah. is the Remo 4. Oh, you know, wow. I, well, I love my posters. <laughs> look at that, isn't that oh, fantastic? Oh, wow, I like that. Hey, it's signed. Isn't it? Signed, good... wow. No, no, who, signed it who signed it? That's PJ Proby, wow, okay. yeah. Well, obviously, I can sign the Remo beer, yeah. and I can get the what's left of the foremost to sign the foremost beer, right. and then that's going to go, hopefully, I mean, a lot of my stuff will go in a museum. If I was to ask you sort of 80 pounds... No, I'd go, I'd go for half of that. To the forty pounds. Yeah, you you couldn't sort of make it around fifty, and well, you know, and I'll sign it for you. I'll sign the back for you. That's I say. No, that takes money off. Does it? <laughs> Forty-five. Forty-five. Do you know what? I'm not going to argue with you. Is Harry. that okay? I want you to have. And it. I'll give you a signed picture of the Remo Four. Thank you How's very that? much. And I'll, and I'll give you a signed picture of me. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think he wants a signed picture. Thank you. But Paul does make forty-five pounds and sells the poster to a good home. It's gone to the right place. That poster will go into the museum and it will be seen for generations to come. And that's music to my ears, really.